missing shackles, dirty interior, relearning how to rig my boat after a long time off the water. Today's the first trip I've done since August 2020 and poor old Arwen is lame, neglected and forlorn on the driveway until now. sailing knowledge I had. It's been so long. I'm hoping that I'm going to remember how to do all of this, but so far I've forgotten loads when it comes to rigging her and raising the sails, that's for sure. rigged correctly here. Um, sail raising is normally a lot easier than this. Yes, we'll get somewhere eventually. Too much string. I'd forgotten to put in the cockpit rope halyard bags this morning. Doesn't help, does it? Well, we are sailing of a sort. Um, the wind is pretty fickle, barely any. There we go. It's an easterly wind today, so it makes for interesting sailing conditions in the sound. Let's uh, pull the outboard up. Reduce the drag. One of those beautiful January days, slight high pressure. We finally got out of the sand. It's been a long time coming. I've um, been looking forward to this. Uh, if you've been following the blog, you'll know that um, I had a couple of woes. One was the trailer, um, the bearings were shot to pieces and we couldn't replace them and so we had to actually make the decision to buy a new trailer. So that took a bit of time to sort out and fit up. Um, and then there was some wood rot uh, which I had missed on the combing which took a bit of sorting out as well. So I've been waiting for this for a long time. As you can see, um, Plymouth Sound is near deserted. It's very light winds, um, easterlies, there's a, a high pressure just um, over us at the moment. 
so it is very light wind sailing. It's an incoming tide, um, high tide around about half past two today and it's about one o'clock now. Um, but as I pan around, it's one of those gorgeous, gorgeous January days. I've been doing a bit of decluttering in the cockpit and reallocating things, so um, I'm hoping that this will make it slightly um, cleaner lines and easier to move around um, this season. Despite the sun, it's actually a bit chilly. Um, I'm sort of in thermals um, and salopets. I've got four layers on. Um, it's um, the wind chill. Although there's not a lot of wind, it was a really frosty start this morning. And the air is still quite, um, still quite cold. breeze now so just making um, a couple of knots we are heading towards the eastern breakwater so. trailer went well. Um, it was a bit stiff to push her off. Um, she's on, the keel rests on rollers and then there's two bunks um, and actually I had to dip the, the wheels completely to, uh, to get her to start moving backwards. Um, I think the trick is just to move her back slightly on the trailer just before I launch her um, so that her, her back end stern is, is hanging over slightly more and then push her in that final bit into the water and then do it. So there's a bit of practice um, on the new trailer. It might be also that I've got um, the bunks not quite positioned correctly so that all her weight is actually more on the bunks than it is on the rollers. Um, so I've got a bit more fiddling to do I think on that one. Well that's a biggie. I don't know which one that is. Sun's in my eyes, so I can't quite make out um, the name. Okay. Just pointing a bit high up there then. <laughs> Just make out the dragon on my little flag silhouetted through through the uh, sail. That's quite nice. Okay, we'll make a turn here so we don't make them a bit nervous on that boat, on the ship. And Round we go, and duck under when she goes. Um, there we go. Heading downwind now, we'll just. I was going to see if we could get over to the bridges, but I think uh, we'll just go straight down the sound.
Drake's Island up ahead. Uh, they were doing tours um, last year and um, I'm hoping that they start them up again this year, tours to the island, um, because there's quite a bit on there, old Napoleonic stuff, there's old World War II gun emplacements, there used to be a former outward bound centre, um, there's all sorts on there, so um, I'm eagerly watching the internet, waiting for when they start up the tours again. Panning around to that now familiar um, skyline of Plymouth Hoe with Smeaton's Tower dead centre there. Breeze has died again. It's uh, very fickle. So I think this is more uh, drifting with current rather than actually sailing at the moment. There we go. Now the breeze is picking up again. I've um, got the sail the wrong side of that boom today. Um, I'm going to sort that out. Uh, when I fill her away later on. I don't know. Um, and of course, there's the very embarrassing bit. You can see from behind, uh, I'm missing the mizzen today. Um, in, well, there's no defense really. In, in my haste to get on the water today, um, I left the mizzen sail and mast hanging in the rafters of my garage. Um, yeah, there's just nothing to say. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but there you go. So I've never actually sailed Arwen without the mizzen mast before. Um, so we'll see, see whether it makes any difference at all to what I do today. I doubt it, quite frankly. Um, I miss the reassuring, its reassuring presence um, because I use it for going, um, you know, head to wind and things like that. It, it, is, it is absolutely brilliant. You can see the green and red posts of the bridges. It's deceptive, but between those four posts, just literally um, in front of the bow, and the tip of Drake's Island over here, there are dragon's teeth, World War II concrete triangular blocks. Um, they're just covered by the tide now. Um, hence the bridges is your way in and out, all tidal conditions really, if you're gonna cut around this side of Drake's Island. Um, the big ships uh, go this way. You can see the Channel Boys just in front of me, over, uh, in front of us now, over there. New set uh, of varnished oars and fiberglass tips. Um, they were splitting, so that was some winter work um, just to get those sorted. <laughs> Cheese and Marmite sandwich. Don't go anywhere without cheese and Marmite. Lifesavers. Correction. Marmite sandwich. I think I forgot to put the cheese in. Today's a tragedy, it really is. <laughs> So at the moment we're pinching a bit and I'm just trying to keep off the eastern side of um, Drake's Island. It is so nice to have some sunshine. You forget, don't you, during the winter months um, how wonderful it is and we have been sorely lacking sunshine in, in the last month or so. Um, last night I managed to get clear skies and I actually managed to get out and do some stargazing as well and that was the first time in possibly eight or nine weeks when I've managed to get a really good five hour spell um, of uh, taking photographs of the Orion Nebula. Right, let's uh, see if we can get a tack in here. Just got to watch that uh, lobster pot, which is just over there. One of the reasons that I only went out 
um, about four times um, last year was um, when we could uh, get away from the lockdowns we made the most we've got a motorhome and we made the most of using the motorhome um, so we had it for Norfolk and North Wales and um, down into Cornwall um, a few times um, so uh, I was never quite around when the, when there was really nice um, sailing weather uh, I was elsewhere um, I don't want to make that mistake this year um, so we'll uh, plan it better I want to uh, try and do a number of voyages this year um, and o o overnight and around she goes before we lose the wind getting chilly now so I'm going to start heading in. Um, I also want to retrieve onto the new trailer um, for the first time just before high tide. It's been a lovely few hours. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Lots to sort out and clear up ready for next time though. If you've enjoyed our trip out today, click subscribe, hit the notification bell and come join us on the next one soon.